Assalamu alaikum guys, how are you? Yeah. Look at this, we got audio, so then anyone complaining about the audio, you can't complain no Back more. Back again with another video, the most requested video, a Q&A. Mm -hmm. request the question how have how we uh, oh my god sorry i'm getting so how did we meet <laughs> how did we meet so for you that don't know i'm ahmed and you're louisa i'm 24 i'm 25 and yeah and we're married and we're married and we've been married for a year alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. 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 Lana. we're just going to get into this question how did we meet how did we meet how did so we this meet? is this is the story that i know how we met louisa see me from far away she's like oh my god and then she told her brother and then obviously her brother got onto me and then we got married <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> There's such a fake laugh for like... <laughs> That's not how it went. This is no, how... that isn't what, how it went. Go. This is how it went. One of the days, we were in town. Me and my brother, Yazi, Travis, chilling, killing, buying stuff. Walking down the road. And then, Ahmed sees my brother. They sit on each other. So, I go, how are you, bro? I haven't seen you, blah, blah, blah. So, we knew each other. And then, I looked and I was like, oh, this guy's cool. Yeah, we knew each other a few years then. Ali was like 20 years age, 21 years of age at that stage. I knew him since he was like 17. I was like, oh, this guy looks cool. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> and then, I was, I remember I seen him before. I seen him at like a Muslim Bilal. He was hosting it. And me, Yazi, and my friend Aranya went to it. And he was just taking the pee up on stage. What's funny was Ahmed's dad. Uh, actually made a comment to my friend Anya and it was funny I didn't know that it was Ahmed Dad at the time and uh, then after that he met Ali Baba and then nothing and then about like a month later I don't know the exact time frame but it was a while a later. bit later like so what ends up happening is I obviously seen Louisa and then I said it to my parents so I just got on that like mad flex of like oh I need to get married I need to get married I need to get married so like you go through that stage I think every guy goes through that stage so I said it to my parents my parents kind of pushed that aside they pushed that so I brushed it aside and then I was like, look, mama, I'm going to get in contact with the brother. After that, you know what I mean? It is what it is. She's like, okay, pray stikhara and go ahead. As I said that to her brother, her brother made a group chat of me, her and him on WhatsApp. First, my brother obviously said it to my dad and then my dad said it to me. It was like, oh, there's a guy there and he wants to get to know you, blah, blah, blah. My brother suggested he make this group chat because my brother was living in England at the time. We were talking in the group chat with each other, getting to know each other. And it actually was quite easy, like, to be honest, how it went. And then we met up with the parents. So I met up with her dad. I remember that day very, very vividly because I, like that day I was just nervous. So then I was just like late. Her dad ring me. He's like, yeah, hey, listen, Maghrib just came in, so just go pray. And then we we're meant to meet at six, and then he pushes back to seven. And then at seven o'clock, I'm not even there because I went to Tesco's and I bought a plant. I bought a plant that she was meant to like grow, but I ended up dying. But it doesn't matter anyways. <laughs> I give that to my mom, and she was meant to look after for me. Well, yeah. So anyways, yeah, I buy this plant. I get uh, chocolates, and then I head over to uh, to the chocolate that I was meant to meet with. He got Ferrero Rocher's, I remember. And like, you know, when my dad brought home like the plant and Ferrero Rocher's, like my little sisters were like, what's that? What that? Where did that come from? And I was like, oh yeah, dad got that from Matt. Because <laughs> obviously I didn't want to tell my little sisters yet because like, no. oh, I wasn't serious. I wasn't yeah. a potential candidate yet. She didn't know if she was going to use and dispose. No. <laughs> Like, you know, no, you're, like you're we were still me. only like talking stage, you know. And then he met my dad. When uh, I met her dad, first thing that happened was we were speaking and we were just walking through the shopping center and then we we're just proper having like an intimate conversation with this guy, man. Like proper eye to eye, like, yeah, what you say? Do you know what I mean? And then he just squats down out of nowhere and opens it. At the time, I was like, oh, what? And then afterwards, I realized I forgot it was Sunnah. It's like a forgotten Sunnah. So this things, guy squatted you know? down, put it like this in the middle of the shopping center, bro. And everyone was just looking at him. He does that all the time. It's just this thing. Thing, like sunnah things you know yeah i met with ahmed's mom and i brought yazi with me so it was like three of us i obviously was anxious and everything i had yazi with me so it was fine i wasn't talking yazi would talk and but we didn't even speak about ahmed like none of that very casual like talking about family ahmed's mom was telling me about her family like how many sisters she has how many brothers she has all the kind of thing and ahmed and my dad didn't talk about me either didn't you know no not not all we just spoke about like politics then i was mad the, ra the randomest things ever you can speak of we spoke about and then i went down to Louise's house a few times, brought down flowers. I went down with my dad mostly. Yeah, with your dad. And then I went down on my own also. He actually brought flowers when my auntie died, like, last, um, 
last February at the time when we were going over we had got engaged the week before and then I went over the week after and he brought me flowers when I wasn't there so my mom sent me pictures of them and stuff and subhanAllah he got me the same flowers like last week I'm looking through my camera roll and I'm like what Ahmed you got me the same flowers as you got me when I was when I was in Algeria mad how things happen subhanAllah and then obviously I went to Algeria I told my family that I had got engaged and then my nanny gave me a karaku like it's a traditional Algerian dress and but it's like one of them proper old ones like she looks like it's from vintage. like vintage literally and she made me put it on and everything she made me come out and try it on she's like wear that next time and I was like oh yeah <laughs> thanks nanny but, uh, but thanks you ma I still make I brought it home obviously with me and I have it and but I like you never know a good revamp and wear it sometime then our dads kept meeting with each other to and organize the to nikah. organize the nikah and not coming back any information nothing, to nothing. us they just meet up and they just chat just chat like they like chat two mates everything. going to meet like like nothing got to do with us literally everything. so when they come home like yeah baba do you sort out i forgot to speak about that yeah next time next time and they meet up next time next time until at one stage it just turned into like a thing of like yeah let's just get it done her brother was meant to come that month then he didn't end up coming because it was locked down blah blah Corona was only fresh at the time yeah. so like there was no way for him to come out of nowhere his dad was like it's gonna be on the 4th because it was meant to be on the 20th and it ended up being on the 4th and his dad was like like it was this this was like a, many days for like four days or something before that date and his dad's like it's happening on the 4th we're like oh my god it's happening on the 4th so I prepared everything for the day of the nikah I know I shouldn't have been I was stressed I was preparing the food preparing the cake even like after we went to sign the papers in the mosque we went to the mosque and signed the papers Papers. I went home and I was still cooking. Doesn't like matter. I went home and I started playing Modern Warfare. <laughs> <laughs> Differences. Wallahi. Doing a nikah and it's here funny, we are. Funny story is my dad didn't even tell Sheikh Yahya. So my dad just turned up to Sheikh Yahya's office. He was like, yeah, listen. Just funny, Ahmed was late to the nikah. Yeah, I was late, yeah. We're late to it. You were waiting for me. We're waiting. We're in oh, the car. Oh, and they had to get snuck into the mosque. We had to sneak in like... Anyways, yeah, so that's how Yeah, that's how we, we got we married. Met. What do you look for in a spouse or husband? Okay. Akhlaq. Dean. Dean. Gold, same mindset. If they're family orientated, I feel like how they act with their family, how they are with their mother, their sister. You know, to understand, like, in it. Yeah, see if you're on the same mindset. How did you tell your parents you found a marriable candidate? Well, I told my parents and they're like, Are you ready? And I was like, yeah. Then obviously my dad went and done his like background checks about the family. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah. yeah, my dad done the same. He went and like asked people about the farm and stuff. Obviously, um, my dad said it's me, so I didn't actually say it to my dad. What would be a single meal you would eat for the rest of your life? You like you smiled, huh? I love food, and it's like, how can you choose just one? Pizza. Pizza, I think. Pizza has to be pizza. Proper pizza, though, not just this. What are don't top have things on your bucket list? Traveling. Yeah, Mecca. Mecca. Medina. Medina and Al Aqsa. Al -Aqsa. Thank you guys for watching. Yeah, we're gonna leave it at to this. Story. Uh, finally, we've answered the question that everyone's been asking us about. We actually answered this question so many times. So many on times, live. and every time in another life, someone's like, "How did you meet?" Or like, "We've said this the last time." It got so repetitive, I stopped answering the question. Guys, if you like this video. Don't don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and because we're just two idiots trying to make a living. <laughs> one idiot and a wife. Okay, one idiot and a husband. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> idiot. Turn the camera. Bye! See you next time. Assalamualaikum.